Yeah, most people take an Uber, taxi, or a Lyft to the airport. Brand new to McCarran International Airport, self-driving cars. It is the first airport to allow the autonomous cars, but it's still in the testing phase while Aptiv works out all the kinks. Our passengers feel our rides are safe convenient and reliable. You can ride up and down the strip in a self-driving car. Aptiv teamed up with Lyft two years ago. Over the last year and a half, we've given close to 100,000 rides. So this is our BMW 5 Series platform. This They're easy to spot. Aptiv car. has a fleet of black and white BMWs with orange wheels. They'll take passengers to more than 3,400 destinations in the valley. But there is one notable exception, the Karen Airport. Data has shown that a lot of ride hailing rides begin and end at airports and we want to be able to solve for that to avoid congestion and challenges like some of the airports are seeing today. Aptiv's pilot program at the airport is only for a select group of people, like Aptiv employees and visitors to the company's technical center in Las Vegas. The tech company is collecting data and learning how robo-taxis work in this environment so they can eventually open it up to the public in the future. The idea is to have a very seamless experience to be able to use the phone, hail a ride that's completely autonomous and driverless, it doesn't cause any congestion, it doesn't uh, bottleneck uh, the airport going in and out. The car will be doing everything on its Last own. Last year, I took you inside Aptiv's self-driving car. Aptiv said it's constantly improving its fleet making the cars more human-like. They're programmed to predict people's behavior. We had a jaywalker uh, jump in the middle of the road and the car slowed down like any responsible <laughs> human driver would. All Aptiv cars have real humans inside, kind of as a safety driver for now. Aptiv said eventually it will just be the passengers and the car. Reporting live, Kyla Gaylor, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.